Hello, my name's Gaynor and today we're going to read a book called Supposing by Francis Thomas and Ross Collins. And this book is really brilliant if you might have had a bad dream. Now bad dreams when you wake up, oh, sometimes they can stay in your head and make you feel a little bit sad afterwards. So this book is brilliant because this little monster, he's had a bad dream and it's made him sad. But you know what he did? He did the best thing and he went and told somebody about it. And that made him feel so much better. Just watch how his mum makes him feel so much better after his bad dream. Okay, this is supposing. Mummy, said little monster, supposing when I woke up tomorrow morning, um, supposing there was like a big black hole. You see, there he is at the bottom. He's had a bad dream, he's just woken up. And the big black hole that he's had a dream about, it's in the middle of his floor. So he's told his mum all about it. And I didn't want to fall in it, so I called you. But, you know, you just didn't answer first time. So this is what he thought had happened in his dream. And supposing then the hole got bigger and bigger and it was a bit dark and smelly. And there was a spider who lived in it. It's not a nice dream, this one. And then there wasn't a ceiling and the sky was horrid and I started to fall down and down and down. Oh, this is really not a good dream. Oh dear, it gets better in a minute though. And supposing you couldn't help me because you'd gone away somewhere and the house went on fire. Oh my gosh, it's all happening, isn't it? And all the fire was round me and I was falling down the hole and the spider was falling. And do you know, I couldn't even see the bottom. And I just kept on falling. Oh, it is. It's making him ever so sad. So look what he's done. Well, me supposing all that happened when I woke up tomorrow, what would it be like? Hmm. Said Mummy Monster, that would be very scary. Yeah. Yeah, it would be scary. He's told her that it's scary and she said, yeah, that would be really scary. But then supposing tomorrow when you woke up, you called me and I was making those pancakes, the ones that you really love. And supposing you ate up all those pancakes that you really love. Oh, that would be really cool, wouldn't it? And then we went for a walk. He looks excited about that. That must have cheered him right up. And supposing we walked and walked until we found a lovely green hill. Mm. And at the bottom of the hill was an old man with a long red scarf selling balloons. <gasps> Which balloon would you choose? I want this one here with the shapes on it. That's what I choose. And supposing I bought a red balloon, oh, like a beautiful red jewel, and you bought a green balloon, like the green sea, and a blue balloon, like the blue sky, said Little Monster. Oh, and a purple balloon, said Little Monster, like, like a lovely purple balloon, oh yes, like a lovely purple balloon, said Mummy. And then supposing you and I climbed all the way to the top of the hill and we stood there in the sun. Oh, can you imagine that? Standing at the top of the hill with the sun shining on you. Oh, that would be lovely. And then I let my red balloon float away, away and away into the sky. And then you let your blue balloon float away and away and your green balloon. Only not my purple balloon, said Little Monster. 
I'd take my purple balloon back home with me. Oh, yes, said Mother Monster. We take your purple balloon back home. But then on the way, we'd meet the old man with a long yellow scarf selling ice creams. And supposing you had strawberry and I had chocolate. Or maybe even the other way round, said Little Monster. Yeah, or the other way around, said Mother Monster. <sighs> Look at that big chocolate ice cream. Wow. Mmm. Gorgeous, I love ice cream. What sort of ice cream do you like? And supposing we walked home eating our ice creams and just as we finished them, oh, it was getting dark, but we got home. And supposing we went inside and made a fire and toasted some buns. Oh, don't they look cosy? Look lovely. Mm, hot chocolate, yum. Oh, look how snuggled up in that chair. Looking at the moon. Oh, and there's his purple balloon, look. And you tell me a story, said the little monster. Yes, I'll tell you a story. Ooh, what would that be like? Mmm, said the little monster. That would be very nice indeed. So he's imagining how brilliant that would be with his mummy. It would be brilliant, wouldn't it? Then, little monster said, supposing I took my purple balloon up to bed with me and it floated up to the ceiling and it stayed there all night and it didn't fall down. Mm, said mother, that would be very nice. Oh, look at his lovely room and his big purple balloon there. Oh, yes, he looks very snuggly in bed. Does not frightened at all now, does he? There. Oh, and that's the end. He's gone to bed, happy. That's good, isn't it? Oh, so that is a lovely story about how if you get scared, you just need to find somebody who might be able to help you feel a little bit better by reminding you of all the lovely things that you can do together. Fantastic. Well, I do hope you enjoyed that story. It's called Supposing. See you next time.